bad man. Fred is like a mess. But he's a bad boy's girl. The story is so good. And I have no idea if you can forgive a person that bad who has treated you really badly or not. So let's go. Chapter 18. I can only hear the rumors flying around school. Nicole scrubbing toilets. Nicole is broke. I deserve it. It's almost funny. All the many things I did coming back around me, and all because of the stone boys. What would what would they have to do with anything? Seriously, they're the reason my life is a he living hell right now. I had a chance to come back to school, but Cole made sure of it at, that I would never walk at graduation. When exactly were Cole and Jay was going to ask my parents? Hey guys. Hey Shirt, can you come join me for a lap? First, se first off, no. And secondly, here's the thing. I get home today and Nicole's sitting on my front porch. What? Yeah, what? Really, that's weird. Yeah, it is. Did she hurt you? Not exactly. Well, what what then? What the hell does she want with you anymore? Actually, I was hoping the two of you two might clarify that for me. How exactly? She's t she tells me the reason why she's crying day and night, working at, at a minimum wage job trying to get into community college. Suspended, kicked off, get out of Chile, and not walking at graduation. Because is because of you two. Is that true? She got what she deserved. I don't really need you for getting revenge for me. What about prom? What about it? Or Hank's party? You mean the one you made me go to? What ha what happened wasn't my fault. Stop. This isn't about you looking out for me. This is about ex you making decisions for me, fighting my battles. Oh, please, like you have some ha more high ground. You didn't hesitate when you slashed the coast tires. That was different. Why? Wait, you slashed the tires? Because it was my choice to make. Mine. I owned it. Nicole deserves everything for what's that's coming to her. Don't tell me you, you, you don't find satisfaction, satisfaction in watching her to go down flames. Look, we're just trying to protect you. As long as Nicole's around, there will be plenty more misery coming her way. Nobody hurts my shortcut like that. My shortcut Romeo over here is thinks he's doing the romantic thing. Listen, please. Close all time. I actually went down to the police station and filed a report. My dad's taking the case personally. The sheriff's department might press charges, criminal charges against Nicole. Excuse me? That's that's right, criminal charges. We should go to juvie. Haven't you didn't listen to your word I said? Didn't you ever think to ask me? Don't you think that's my choice to make, Jay? Well, told you it's a bad idea. Oh, shut up already, Cole. Yes, I'm sorry. I never mean to. I don't want to be a part of a stupid, weird, brotherly pact. I don't want to be your girlfriend. I don't want to do be your anything. Pessy. Wait, shortcake. Shit. Yeah. Jeez. Forget them. I'm done with boys. For good. What? Baby, come in? Whatever. We want to talk to you about something. Your mother and I have agreed that it's probably for the best if we got a divorce. What? A divorce? Mom, I know that's worthless cheating price of Tessa. Garbage. But, I mean, do you guys have to get a divorce? We think it's, it's what's best for the family. Did you ever add, ever to think ask the, be the family what's best for the family? No, didn't think so. Tessa, don't disrespect your mother like that. The decision has been made. Sweetie, do you have any questions? What's going to happen now? Your mom's moving back to Brooklyn to pursue her Molly dreams. Please, don't use that tone. What tone? That paralyzing tone. You don't think I'm going to make it, do you? Well, well you, you're a little old to be hard modeling. And you're a little old to be screwing the secretary. Does, does she even know how to drive, Jeff? Yeah, a stick shift. Ah, oh, you just got it. You have just kept your it in your pants. Well, you weren't high all the time with painkillers. Maybe I'd actually feel something for you. Oh, so you think this is all about you? Yeah, it is. 
Oh my gosh, I hate it when that happens. Don't you hate it when that happens? Aaron Travis is still wearing his suit. Did you see it coming too? I thought they were happy. It's not like mom or dad would have expect expect you to notice. You have it through rough between the stone stones and Nicole and everything. Yeah, I guess you're right. So what happens now? I don't know. That's that's it. I'm the man of the house now. So you better we're basically parentless. The two two orphans are just traveling along. You know what they told me last night? That the time to take it's time for me to take responsibility for my life. What a joke. How can I be so selfish? Hey, I got an idea. Let's cheer you up, yeah? I don't know if I'm in the mood. Come on, I'm thinking up Beth in a little while. Why don't you come to dinner with us? But it will wouldn't it be weird with me as a third wheel? Who knows? Maybe you'll meet the love of your life. On a dinner table with my brother? Anything is possible. Possible. What? Oh, Cobb. What is he doing here? We thought you could use some company. Yeah, what the fuck? What, 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 what? You lied to me. No. I just left out a few minor details. This isn't funny, Travis. You were the one concerned about being the third wheel and all. Besides, it was Beth's idea. Ah! This is not a date. You're right. It's not a date. It was. It's whatever you want to be, Cassie. It's your choice to make. Well, when we're all here now, so let let's eat, I guess. I swear, they told me you knew I would be here. It's fine, Jay. Fine, Monsieur. Would you like to get a glass of wine, Stevie? Nothing. I'm going on two months now. It's over. Oh, please forgive me and congratulations. You two make a nice couple. I have to say, I agree. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. Oh. I've always been skeptical of the sto you, Stone Boys, but I, th I think Jay's a real winner, and he's so handsome. This isn't creeping out. When did Beth and Travis became my parents? All oh, right, when Mom and Dad went crazy. I agree with Beth on that nice couple thing. What do you think? Oh, I see it. The small text. I suppose so. Jay's always had my back. It was easy. So I can't read it. It was easy for you, like somebody. See, this is good. This, this, this is fun. We should date more often. Yeah, thanks for letting me get out of the house. I really need this. I got it. You sure, babe? Of course, it's my pleasure. So I have an idea for you. Do you like surprises? Who doesn't? There's a little place I want to take you, and I think you really like it. What kind of place? If I tell you, it's not a surprise. But I gave you a hint. It's a place we can score. Oh, it's cheap. Oh. Sure, let's ditch these losers. That's the spirit. Where are you two going? It's a surprise. Don't, don't worry. No drinking. Just want to get out of this stuffy restaurant. Thanks for the dinner. Anytime. Yeah, let's have to spend some money. They really do make a good, great couple. This isn't, this isn't exactly what I had in mind when you said we were going to score. But I love in this place. It's the best. It's nice not to have to think about life for a moment. I heard about your parents. I'm sorry. It's okay. I thought I, I'll get through it. I always do. Listen, Tessie. I thought about what you said the other day. If I over, ever overstep my bounds about anything, Nicole or Cole, whatever, I'm really sorry. I honestly thought I was doing the right thing. Do you really feel sorry for her? It's not sorry. I just, it's just pity. Yeah, or something close to it. I can't separate myself from my Nicole's past. I, I dated Nicole. Yeah, you really suck for that. Guess I can, I, yeah, guess I kind of do. I'm trying, I am guess what I'm trying to say is, I hate what Nicole did, became and what she did to you. But not who she is. Oh, was is. 
You think that's a good? You think there's good in her? I think there's good in everyone, even a, even even Cole. Well, now I know you're lying. Cole did start the fight in the band room. I still can't believe you thought it was a stupid pack. That stupid pack was a good idea. What do you think was going to happen? I don't know. I guess we didn't think about it. That's the problem with boys. No fo forethought. You're probably right about that. I choose Cole, Jay, from the start. But that doesn't mean Cole and I are just going to run away together. You're still part of my life. I know, and I don't want to create a wedge between you and him. I just want you back in my life, Tessa. Will you give me another chance to prove myself to you? I think I can do that, but don't push it. This was fun. Thanks. You don't have to thank me, Tessie. Remember our first date? We didn't even know it was it was a real day or not. Was, was this a real date? Like I said earlier, it's whatever you want to be. Come on, don't be a coy with me. Admit it. You you knew Beth and Josh were dragging me to set dinner, and this was a setup. No, I swear. If I had known you'd be uncomfortable in any way, I'll save for the ju jury stone. What is she doing here? I think she's crying. And drunk. Shit. Hold on. What are you doing here? This used to be our spot when things were so much simpler. And we were all friends. That was a long time ago, Nicole. And before you decided to ruin my life. I just don't understand what happened, what changed. You did. You did. You changed. She's drunk, Jay. Don't listen to her. Was I really all that bad? When you really think about it? Yes, yes who you were. Can you ever forgive me? I don't think what you got out of your sleep. I don't know what you got out of your sleep, Nicole. But you moping around like this, it doesn't suit you. You should go home, get some sleep. I'll call you a cab. We're having a really nice evening, evening before you showed up. I'm not going to let you wreck it the rest of our night, Nicole. I'm sorry, Tessa. I shouldn't have taken away Jay away from you. I also knew you liked him. I knew he, the, no, he meant the world to you. Shut up. Um. Wait, let's hear her out. You're always a sweetheart to me and Tessa, Jay. And I wish I could take back a pass. You can't. What's done is done. Tessa, he used to talk about you in his sleep. He dreamed about you. What's your name? He really. He never really loved me, not in the way he loves you. That's enough, Nicole. Wait, Tessa, Tessa, please, please forgive me. I hope you really cheer to go. Truly, I do. But I can't forget, and I can't forgive you. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Just let me know if you can forgive this person, person who will treat you this bad. Well, this has been an eventful night. I'll say. She's okay, right? Nicole, yeah, the cab driver said he picked her up in five minutes. Five, ten minutes. I had a good time, regardless. A nice dinner, two friends. Yeah, me too. Two friends. Oh, what the hell. It was a date. Did you hear that music? Yeah, that's strange. And there's a party here. Thanks, to Cole. Cole, what the hell are you doing inside my house? And who are all these people? Time for a major shortcake. I know you've been mad at me at all, but don't worry. Posta always knows how to cheer you up. Now that's it. Fun, I remember this part where there's dramas about to happen. More dramas about to happen. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next part in the next episode of Apple's Girl. Goodbye!